Well, over in Fayette County, those who live in Page Kincaid held a roadside protest today as they've been dealing with foul smelling and discolored water for about two to three years. Newswatch reporter Anna Saunders was there and spoke to them and a member of the Public Service District. Take a look. Do we need clean water, people? Yeah! yeah. We wanted to have a peaceful gathering just to show the community and everyone that we need help. They've petitioned, they've given public comment, and now they're standing up in their own community, demanding action. For two years, the residents using the Page Kincaid Public Service District water have experienced inconsistent water quality, from a yellowish tint and bleach smell to dark brown sludge. An issue that spans generations as the oldest person out there on Monday was 89 and the youngest just four years old. It looks like brownish. James Kincaid, a member of the PSD, came out to speak with those standing out front. He says their $3 million plan to fix the system last year was blocked once the residents turned in a 400 signature petition to the Public Service Commission in Charleston asking for an American water takeover. They've been in legal talks since. We have, we have old pipes, old systems. It, it's hard every day to make this happen, and our guys work hard. I mean, you might hear people say that they don't do anything, but they, keep the, they, keep, they keep the water moving. And they want clean water, and I understand that. I do too. Aside from the fact they can't confidently wash their hands, bathe, or drink the water, residents worry about the long-term health effects. One was especially concerned as her child developed this rash immediately under the most recent boil water advisory. My kids, I worry about them. You know, you need, you need good water for them, for their bodies, for them to grow up and be healthy. And we're spending so much money buying the water. I mean, they tell us that West Virginia American Water's rates are going to be too high, but really when you take into consideration the amount of jugged water and bottled water that we're buying every week, I don't think we'll see a big difference. And we're still against paying two and a half million dollars to keep a water company here when there's something else that'll cost almost nothing for us to have. Almost nothing for West Virginia American Water. Reporting in Fayette County, I'm Anna Saunders, Newswatch.